Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Dynamite Heady. I'm Madam Luna, and we are going to go fight Dark Demon. But first, a mini game. This is the last friend's room. This guy is, uh, is actually really pretty annoying. His name is Bo, Yakun in this version. And his job is to point out Keymaster weak spots. Now, the thing about this is that um, they're usually really obvious, and he is very annoying. So, but still, you know, as long as I'm showing stuff off through the game, may as well, right? Anyway, this will demonstrate what I mean. Target. 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 Anyway, I'm not going to repeat that every time. Uh, we'll see how long this takes. It can take a while. You guys go make a sandwich or something. Unless you just really, really like seeing me kill monkeys. Damn, dirty apes. It's not too hard now, but it does speed up kind of blisteringly later on. It'll be great because you'll be able to hear my controller clacking as I do it. Wow. There you go, you see? Ah! Ah! Oh my gosh! And this controller, the buttons are a little bit sticky anyways. I'm sure you guys can tell from listening to it. But in any case, I don't remember if you have to finish all of them or if you have to empty out some of them. Or if it just keeps going. In any case, I've never done this and uh, not gotten a secret bonus point. So I guess it just keeps going. Because you'll notice some of them are, well, they're opening but they're empty. Ah, oh, well there you go. I guess it is possible to lose it. Try my best to point out these targets. Man, I didn't even get a secret bonus point. Oh, you can still go in there. Not that I want to. Anyway. Let's go. North Town. Now, this is the first real stage of the game, so now you guys will actually be able to see how all the mechanics of the game are put together. Not all the me mechanics, because obviously, you know, there are a bunch of the heads that we haven't seen yet. But you'll be able to see at least how stage is set up. And I, I just, I love the layout of this stage. It's very nostalgic. A lot of the times when I play this game, I don't actually get very far. I just, like, start it up just for a little taste of what it feels like. So, I end up playing the stage a lot. And, let's see... Now, in order to get one of the secret secret bonus points here, and I'm not going to do the bonus stages this time around, I did them last time, and I really dislike them. There you go. Because obviously what you could also do is use either the three heads or the pig nose to kill him off the top of there, but if you actually just hammer him off there, you get a secret bonus point. Do -do 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 -do. Or do that. Lots of interesting ways to go through the stages in this game. It's actually, even though each stage only has one exit, the way you can get there often often varies. So it's interesting, um, the uh, non-linear aspects of this game. <laughs> Bananas actually restore your health in this game, and it's the only thing in the game that does. They're fairly rare, but not incredibly so. I really love it when designers do that in games. When they give little, uh, kind of the gameplay equivalent of subplots. And if I hadn't gotten it before, there would be a banana up here. And there's also one that you can see down there that the only way to get is with the vacuum head, so. Now this is the empty head. There's also the super head. Hammer head. Super head. Which um, makes you run twice as fast, you jump twice as high, and your head stretches out twice as far. It makes Hetty a little um, unreliable to control, though. Here we go, first mini boss of the game. Her name is Kath Catherine de Goon, or maybe Catherine Derringer. It changes in each version of the game. And I, I guess it's a girl. I can only assume so. Sigh.
Here we go. Two secret bonus points coming right up. Here we go. Bonus point. Okay, now there are a couple of ways we can do the next part, but first... This is actually another way to restore health, except that whenever you use it, you have to stay in one place and let Hetty sleep. You can cancel it any time, but if you cancel it halfway through, he only gains back half his life. So it's really actually not a very good idea to use it, at least when you're in the middle of a boss fight. And this game will do that to you. I feel like going through this way. There's a secret bonus point up there, but this is a really interesting little part of the game. Little indeed. They use the um, tiny head graphic for a couple different reasons in this game. I know that they use it as a, a kind of a forced perspective trick later on. But right now we actually are going through a little miniature toy world. Let's see. Down here. There we go up here and out here. If you had, if I had taken the spike head, I would have been able to go up and around and come out back here. Bum, ba, da, da, bum, bum, bum. Here we go. This is an interesting scene. In the American version. Well, I'll tell you about it afterwards. Oh, really? This time will be different. It's not different at all, is it, Mariana? Now, in the American version, what happens in the scene is that Mariyama comes on, he gets squished by that guy, Mad Dog, and the battle just starts with Mad Dog. So you really don't know what the heck's going on unless you play the Japanese version. Not that really it matters, but... Bounty Hunter meaning Mariyama. Another, like, little nuance that was lost in the American version. Emperor myself. Here we go. The very first key master of the game. He's not very hard. Fun little fight. And that arrow will show where he's going to fall. Hmm, I want Hammerhead. You can actually see, um, Enigma Opia pointed this out earlier that I forgot to mention what the health bar was, and it's the spotlights. And you can see that, um, it goes from green to yellow to orange to red to black, and when it's black, you, you, de you died. Timer head. Another really good one. Also known as Flash Stopper. Whoops. Let's see. Can I do it from here? Gah! Foiled again. There we go. That's perfect. But yeah, orange. Red orange. Red. Ah, oh, very, very close. Almost got him. In every Key Master fight also, you can see a little uh, white creature called Vino, and if you defeat him, then you get a secret bonus point, but at some points it takes him a while to show up, so like, why even bother? Mmm. Yep, connect, collect enough of those and you get another, uh, continue. Mm -hmm. Five out of eight, not great, not bad, but it doesn't really matter, like I said, so... There we go. Not bad. And now we've completed the first real world of the game. Um, usually it's like uh, two to three regular stages and then key master stage. There are of course some exceptions that you'll see later on, but that's generally how the game is set up. Thank you. Oh no, a mysterious femme fatale. Yeah, that's Figgy. So named because she throws her, uh, her fingers, her hands instead of her head. We'll be seeing her a lot. Here we go. Although, Fire Carnival, beautiful stage, fantastic music, but I think I'm going to leave that for next time. Oh, and who's that guy looking at us? You guys know, I know, whatever. Anyway, I will see you around, and I hope you're enjoying Dynamite Heavy so far. Thank you for watching, and have a nice evening.